What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys the next Q&A video. Um, today answering the questions that you guys recently commented. I had a community post, should come up in your subscription box like any video, and a lot of you guys dropped uh, questions that you wanted me to answer about Clash, Rift of Rygard, personal, anything, and I have them in front of me today. I'm gonna do as many as I can in about 10 to 12 minutes, and they're ranked based on the number of likes, so I'll get to the most popular questions first, and then we'll see just how many I can get to, but there's quite a few in front of me uh, right now. Um, few things I wanna say before I get to the first question. First of all, check out the link, first link in the description. It is to a new content creator, a good friend of mine, very different uh, type of content. He's doing some video editing and uh, some kind of nature footage, and it's pretty cool. His uh, first video's up, so be sure to check it out. I typically don't shout out other YouTubers, but I wanted to uh, to give this new creator a shout out because uh, I'm looking forward to what he's gonna do, and I think it's really cool. Um, so just check it out, see if you like it, and I'm sure he'll be putting some more footage up soon. Okay, having said that, I also want to shout out my Patreon because I am a sellout, as you guys know by now, you can, uh, uh, check out the link in the description for that because if you want to chat with me beyond just you know a few questions like in this video um, for attacking advice, base advice, um, anything you want to uh, discuss in the Discord server, that's one of the first perks you get as a patron. So be sure to check that out if you're interested uh, in that aspect as well. Okay, enough said. Let's get to the first question. Um, the top one here is from Mike L. What are you studying in school? Um, I think I've said this before, I'm studying aeronautics and astronautics, which is basically aerospace engineering. I'm currently a sophomore, and I'm just starting to get into kind of the engineering fundamental courses. Looking for an internship right now for some kind of systems engineering, mechanical or aerospace engineering uh, around the Seattle area or somewhere. Um, so if, you, if, if anyone wants to hire me, I guess this is a... This is a solicitation for that. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for internships this summer, and I am studying uh, aerospace at the University of Washington in Seattle. All right, Clash of Clans question from Honey Badger. Is Stone Slammer making it too easy for Town Hall 10s? I would say no. I think we're not seeing it dominate too much. I still see the blimp and the wall wrecker used as well. The blimp maybe not as much anymore, uh, but definitely the wall wrecker and I think bases are adjusting to defend against it We're seeing you know the air defense is kind of being more evenly spaced around the base Seeking air mines in critical locations to prevent it sweepers. It's another thing you have to defend in your base But I think it's not overpowered at all um, At Town Hall 10. I think it's it's all right for now. Not many people I have heard about have really complained about it too much Okay, uh, sky guy LFG and by the way uh, all these questions um, I'm I skimmed through it, but I'm basically reading them for the first time. So these are just kind of the answers that come to the top of my head. Um, Sky Guy asks, do you know how many people were banned in OHG or in the OH family in general? Exclamation point. Um, <laughs> I, I probably let, know a lot less than some of the leaders do. Um, I can't speak for the One Hive family, which is separate from the One Hive Genesis family. Um, in terms of One Hive Genesis, I haven't seen many people banned. Obviously, our clan uh, went through the entire CWL invite season uh, with no issues. So uh, I haven't seen anyone in our clan being banned recently. And I know there's been issues with fair play uh, in the, I think, the ongoing season that's just starting to you know get towards the finals for CWL invite. But... Um, I haven't heard of a whole lot of individual bands. I'm sure it's happening, but it's typically not talked about much, at least in the, the circles I'm in. Okay, uh, Garav's Rule. Is Clash of Clans all about wasting precious time, or is it worth or is it worth playing it? Well, I, th I mean, if you're asking me, a Clash of Clans YouTuber, I'll say it's worth playing. Uh, I'm surprised that got six likes. Yo Limo, uh, do you think you would still be p playing Clash of Clans if you didn't have a YouTube channel? I think I would, and I right now I don't even play Clash that much outside of YouTube. I don't really farm, I just kind of do the war attacks and stuff like that. So I think I still would. 
I'd like to think I would, yeah. It's I still enjoy the game outside of YouTube, just attacking the strategy component and the competitive component once you get into the leagues. So I would say yes. That would be my guess, but who knows. Uh, Donathan D. What is your favorite thing to do outside of Clash slash Rift? Rift of Rygar, the new game by Dunright Games. Um, well, I don't actually... I haven't gotten access to Rift of Rygar, so uh, that's not really something I'm spending time on yet. Um... Favorite thing to do outside of Clash, I would say I enjoy sports, uh, intramural basketball at, at the, uh, the gym uh, here at the University of Washington, lots of intramural sports. Um, beyond that, uh, I like, you know, hiking, outdoor stuff, and um, yeah, that's all I can think of off the top of my head, kind of putting me on the spot here, but um I don't have any huge other hobbies, though, uh, mainly besides YouTube and playing sports and stuff. Okay, uh, this next one, what school do you attend? What is your real name? How many accounts do you have? What town hall level? Is it better to have town hall 12? Is it better for town hall 12 to have three multis or one, two, single? Okay, the first two are a little concerning. I hope he's not trying to track me down or anything. This is from Marco Comuna. Um, not going to give the real name. I already said I went to University of Washington. Uh, I have three accounts. One Town Hall 9 that's rushed. I don't play on it much. One Town Hall 10 that you guys always see. And then the Town Hall 11 Trisectatron that you guys see from time to time. Um, for Town Hall 12, I think you want to err on having more multis. But a well-placed single Inferno is always good. I would say you want to have two to three multis. Possibly one single. I don't like two or more single Infernos, though. All right, uh, Joseph Warren. What is the most enjoyable Town Hall level for you? Town Hall 11, actually, I might say. And that's a little surprising because most of my content comes from my Town Hall 10 account, most of the live attacks. But I like the Warden. Maybe it's it's just the novel. I haven't played on it as much, which is why I like it. But I'm really enjoying Town Hall 11 and the war attacks. I'm hoping to get my 11 into some more uh, serious wars you know, in the future once we, you know, get into leagues again and stuff like that. Okay, Jacob Edmonds, what should people be trying to defend at Town Hall 10? Uh, I would say your first priorities when building a base can't be hit by Frozen Witch or Bow Witch where you have the Infernos lined up with the Town Hall for an easy wall record push through. So that should be your first thing. Um, you know, hogs, spring traps on the back end. Don't sell out too much for hogs. They're not that powerful, but... You know, have the anti-hog stuff, and then I'd say one of the biggest things is, you know, anti-bat spell, and then have some anti-dragon stuff as well. I know that's a lot of different things to think about, but it's, the, the whole point of base building is you're taking all these different components that are meant to defend these different attacks, and you're combining it into one base, and I have guides out there for defending different things, but I would say if we have to take, like, a top few anti-bat spell and um, anti-bow witch slash frozen witch right now should be your priorities. Uh, the chosen one, minimum requirement to be part of one high family. Uh, I'm kind of getting exposed on this one because I don't actually know the exact answer. I think it's Town Hall 9 and above, but um, you can join our Discord server recruitment if you're really interested. Link in the description as it is for every video, and you get the specific information there. But I believe it's Town Hall 9 or above. And that's for the One Hive Genesis family. Uh, what is your opinion on political situation in Germany? Um, I follow politics somewhat. Not as much as I, I, I would like to. I don't have that much time, I guess, to do it, being, you know, taking classes and stuff in STEM field. Uh, I don't know much about the pol politics of Germany. I know a lot about politics of the United States. Um, so I'm going to have to pass on that. I'm going to sound stupid to someone who's actually well-educated on, on German politics. But, um, yeah, appreciate the question. All right, Beardy McBeardy. What's your favorite town hall at the moment and why? I already said town hall 11. Yazdrail Mahandra, do you have a girl? Smiley face. Um, no comment on that one. Simon Yelda, did you buy your town hall 11 account? Trisectatron. Uh, let's just say it's... I, it came about, and now I have it. We'll leave it at that. Uh, Kitsukotl, the uh, Aztec god, I believe. Do you think certain town hall levels need a buff nerf offensively or defensively for war purposes, such as, you know, giving Town Hall 9 a third expo or something like that? 
Um, I would like to see Town Hall 9 kind of brought back into more competitive scene with some higher level archer towers, possibly a third expo. I'd be all for that at Town Hall 9. Um, I think even relatively quote-unquote casual players would say it's a little too easy uh, offensively. Other than that, I think 10, 11, 12 is pretty good. Uh, Felipe Lamarch, what about Town Hall 10 Ward do you like so much over other competitive Town Hall levels? It's really nothing special about Town Hall 10 to me. Like I said, Town Hall 11 is almost more fun, um, although I do appreciate Town Hall 10 as well. Town Hall 10, 11, 12, I think it's all very interesting types of attacks. There's different strategies, different types of bases, all valid, and it's all very dynamic. So that, that's how I would answer that one. Uh, Geoffrey, Jeffrey, how old are you? Uh, I am going to be 20 years old in about five days. Uh, I am Jerry. What is something you would like to see added in Clash of Clans? I would like to see um, the current in-game uh, CWL, the, the Supercell War Leagues, have different rankings for all Town Hall 10 clans or all Town Hall 11 clans or all Town Hall 12 clans because right now they're doing like an eSports, it looks like, for the top clans, which is, of course, all going to be Town Hall 12s. I'd like to see something for 15 Town Hall 11s. If you run that breakdown, you're in a separate division that also has a chance to be the best Town Hall 11s in Clash of Clans. Same for 10s, even. Um, try to get to, like, one or two more here. Uh, and I apologize to those who... I'll get to everyone that has at least one thumbs up. And I, yeah, I apologize to those that I won't quite get to. Um... Matt McDougall, is there a mythical base that can stop both Bow Witch and Mass E-Drags at Town Hall 11 asking for a friend? Um, I'm sure it's out there. You just have to build it. Firefly, that doesn't make any sense, but my, <laughs> uh, it is out there probably, and you can also build one probably. Uh, Firefly G-O-W, why do you only have two accounts? Most people play more. I have three. I only play two and I don't have the time to play more than two. Uh, Sayantan Panda. I'm going to do this last one right here um, just because it involves Rift of Rygar, which I want to mention in this video because I have had people ask about that, and it tends to be a something people are always looking for information on. If you don't know, Rift of Rygar is one of the new games coming out, uh, hopefully around the middle of this year, I think is what we've heard. Um, it's developed by Jake from One Hive, the original kind of One Hive YouTuber, and the company has done right games. To answer your question, when is it coming? I know that the alpha and beta are coming very soon. I think we heard somewhere in February is the hopeful deadline for the beta, although those are obviously can be subject to change. Um, I think that was just, yeah, when's it coming? So, yeah, that's the answer to that. How about Town Hall 12 base building for Supercell CWL? Difficult to get two star. I'm not sure about that the rest of your question there, what you're really asking about, but um, obviously you want to keep your Town Hall protected, especially at Town Hall 12, because it's actually a defense, um, but at any Town Hall level, semi-protected for the in-game War Leagues, that way people can one-star you if they don't take out your base entirely and they miss the Town Hall by accident. If you put it in the corner, they can drop one goblin on it and basically ensure they get the two-star, so keep that in mind for sure. All right, that's all I'm going to get to today. We're at about 14 minutes as long as I want to have this one go. Um, so for those of you who asked your questions before, don't worry. I will be uh, doing more Q&As in the future, maybe like every month or something. Sorry for the lack of uploads. Have some more um, content coming soon once I get some more time closer to this weekend. Uh, some types of videos I'm looking forward to doing. But yeah, once again, Patreon link in the description and for Discord access and also... Be sure to check out the first link, which is to a another content creator trying to give him a little shout out. One of my friends um, making some cool uh, videography videos. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.